Hi guys, today I'm going to be sharing six tips on how to make your car battery last longer. Now let's get this. I decided to do this video after looking at the service records for the car I got this year. I quickly realized that the previous owner had replaced the battery several times in a very short space of time. As I share these six tips, I'll point out the ones I've implemented to improve the lifespan of the battery that I've put in. Before we go into these six tips, it's critical to establish the difference between the two broad kinds of automotive batteries that are on the market today because this really plays a critical role in battery longevity. Automotive batteries are generally divided into starting batteries and deep cycle batteries. Starting batteries are the cheaper and the more common of the two and consist of your regular flooded lead acid battery or enhanced flooded lead acid battery. These are designed to provide high bursts of energy for a very short period, for example while you're cranking your car and are not designed to handle sustained loads. They deliver that high cranking to start your car and then the alternator takes over most of power production for the vehicle. Another flaw of starter batteries is that their state of health decreases each time that they are deeply discharged. On the other hand, deep cycle batteries, for example, AGM batteries, are designed to withstand multiple deep discharges. The kind of battery you have definitely plays a role in longevity. Some of it is also down to charging system design. Not all cars are designed to use deep cycle batteries. But let's move on to the tips. So here we go. First tip, get the battery as fresh as possible. When you go out to buy a battery, you should really be looking for the battery with the most recent manufacturing date. Batteries are perishable products and the further the battery from its date of manufacture the greater the loss of function also a battery that sits idle on the shelf is more likely to suffer from sulfation sulfation just means the deposition of hard lead sulfate crystals on the battery plates thereby limiting the functional surface area of battery plates this ends up leading to performance issues now reading the manufacture date of a car battery is not easy either because manufacturers tend to hide this manufacture date within a code that is stamped on the body of the battery even though there are standard ways of reading the code some manufacturers have different standards for embedding the dates within the battery code but here is a really nice web resource that gives you how to decipher the date of manufacture for car batteries by car battery brand i'll leave links of this in the description second choose the right kind of battery this refers to both the battery size and the battery type although cars leave the factory with smaller size batteries the bigger the battery the larger its reserve capacity in essence the more insurance you have before the battery gets deeply destroyed Charged. This is especially important for starting batteries. Also, if you do a lot of stop and go trips with a lot of traffic, you're going to have limited time for the alternator to charge the battery properly. You may consider an enhanced flooded battery, which is better designed to handle start and stop cycles. It also has improved resistance against sulfation and damage from deep discharges. Lastly, if your car supports deep cycle batteries, you could consider that if budget is not a problem. This is an upgrade that I've done in this car already. It came with a really small size battery, which I've swapped out and I've put in a 65 amp battery. Three, use a heat shield. Heat is a major killer of batteries. In fact, although a lot of batteries fail in the winter, it's actually the damage that is sustained in the summer that ends up catching up with the battery in the winter. Because I upgraded to a larger size battery in this car, I've had to invest in the larger heat shield from the V6 Accord. The engine bay is a really hot place and car manufacturers have put in this heat shield to shield your battery from some of this heat. Four, clean, tight, and lubricated terminals. Corrosion of battery terminals can lead to parasitic drains and can also lead to suboptimal charge because of the poor contact between the alternator and the battery itself. I've seen people when they change batteries, they just hook on the negative terminal, they don't tighten it down, that's not good. Tighten it down, make sure you apply some silicone lube or some spray protectant that is specially designed for battery terminals. I've typically used silicone lube and it's worked pretty well i almost never get any corrosion on my battery terminals five test and recharge the battery on a schedule you're just going to have those days where your car battery will be put near or over its design limits imagine slow traffic at night under heavy rainfall your talking power draw from wipers you're probably using your ac as well headlights and so on and so forth this is despite the low charge that will be coming from the alternator due to the low engine rpm leaving car batteries continually in low charge states only leads to sulfate 
equation and the harder the crystals get the more difficult it becomes to recover the battery or to break down those even using smart chargers find a frequency that works for you to test the battery if the battery voltage is lower than 12.5 as it is here it will be best to use an external smart charger on the battery as the alternator is not designed to fully charge batteries that have gone beyond this voltage point last and not the least as i've mentioned before in passing avoid deep discharges at all costs especially on aging batteries a deep discharge on an aging battery may well be the last straw that breaks the camel's back have you had that experience where you have a weak battery and somehow you just allow the vehicle run the battery flat and then it just doesn't recover this is exactly what happened six tips to help you get the most out of your battery hope this was helpful if it was give the video a like comment share and subscribe catch you on the next one peace